So this part of the tutorial we're going to be looking at learning how to do the T-stop. So to begin the T-stop, the first thing that you need to understand is the position of your skates. It's called the T-stop because your feet will be in the position of a T, like this. So to begin learning the T-stop, what you need to do is bend both your legs so your knees are directly over the toe cap of your skates, like this. From here, you need to figure out which is more comfortable, either lifting up your left leg and putting it over your right, like this, or lifting up your right leg and putting it over your left, like this. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using my right leg and lifting it over my left. Again, so what you want to do is make sure that your knees are bent and directly over the toe cap of your skates. You need to put all the weight onto your left leg as you lift your right leg up to put it behind the left leg. Now my right leg is going to be dragging on the inside edge of my right leg. So as I'm going forward, my right leg will be dragging behind me using the inside edge to slow me down. And that's what slows you down. So once you've gotten used to bending your knees while you're skating and lifting whichever leg you prefer, in this case as I said I'll be using my right leg over my left, putting it behind you to slow you down, just to give you a better idea of where your weight's going to be. As I said earlier on, you'll put all your weight onto your left leg as you move your right leg behind it, like so. Once you're in this position, again, the majority of your weight is going to be in your left leg and there's only going to be a small amount of weight in your right leg as you're just using it to scrape the ice to slow you down from moving. The exact same se sequence applies if you're using your left leg over your right, you just reverse the instructions. So it will be all of your weight on your right leg as you lift your left leg behind the right. So all of your weight's in that leg as that foot's being lifted behind. Once your left leg gets behind, exactly the same thing applies. Most of the weight is in your right skate and your left skate will just be following behind, dragging the ice with the inside edge to slow you down. So in this instance, for learning how to do the T-stop, what I'll be doing is bending my knees again so that my knees are parallel to the front of my toes, the front of my toes or the front of my skates, and then I'll be moving my right leg behind my left leg, so like that. And if you look at my right leg at the moment, you can see that it's slightly angled, which means that as I'm skating along, my right leg is going to be using the inside edge to slow me down. So I'll be moving forward like that, and I'll be dragging this leg behind me like that. And it'll be in that position there. That's what stops you from moving. It'll be your right leg's inside edge. And if I do it the other way, again, bend my knees, so my knees are over my, the front of my skates, and I'll be moving my left leg behind my right leg this time like that. So this time round, my left leg, I'll be using the inside edge of my left leg to slow me down. So as I'm moving forward like that, I'm dragging my left leg behind me using the inside edge to slow me down. So just a few more pointers about doing the basic T-stop. As we said earlier on, it's both knees bent, all weight into one foot, lift the other one up, drag it behind. Some of the problems that a lot of people have during the T-stop is that you might find, once you're in that position and you're slowing yourself down, you might find yourself turning in one direction. So you'll try and stop slowing yourself down and you'll be moving to the left really sharply or moving to the right. All that means is that the foot at the back, you might be only leaning on the heel or only leaning on the toe. If you're leaning on the heel, that'll push you to the left. If you're leaning on the toe, that'll push you to the right. So all you need to do is just make sure that you're leaning on it evenly and it's at that kind of an angle so the whole blade is on the ice not some of it and that means that you'll come to a stop moving in the same direction that you're traveling in some of the other things that might cause you to turn in one direction while you're doing the t-stop are too much weight being put on the foot that's behind all you want to do is act as a snowplow you want this foot behind you to act as a snowplow just brushing or scraping the surface of the ice making you slow down if you're doing that correctly once you come to a stop, you'll notice that you'll have a build-up of ice on that side of the blade. If you're doing it, just keep going, it doesn't matter. And if you're not doing it properly, you'll have this skate digging into the ice, which will either cause you to stop and spin or slowly drift in one direction as you come into a hole. So you only want the foot that's behind just gently scraping the surface of the ice to slow you down.
So in the next part of the tutorial we're going to be looking at how to start learning the advanced T-stop. So the best way to start learning it is to learn how to skate on one blade at a time, making sure that you can put the other skate behind the one that's on the ice while you're moving around. The way that I first learned to do the uh, advanced T-stop would be to skate forward, put all my weight onto one leg, move the foot that's going to stop me behind, and then land on the outside edge of the foot that's behind, and at the same time lifting my left leg up. So from the side, it'll look like this. You'll be skating forward in this direction. That foot goes forward, you put all your weight down onto your left leg, lift your right leg up, move it into the T-stop position, put it down on the outside edge, and lift that foot up at the exact same time. So it kind of looks like this. You skate forward, and then jump like that. The way that your weight goes while you're doing this stop is that as you're skating forward in this direction, you lift your right leg up in this instance. All of your weight is now on your left leg. You lean back as you're coming down onto your right leg on the outside edge, and that skate goes up. So the weight switches from your left leg to your right leg as soon as the right leg touches the ground. So I'll just show you that again. You'll be going forward, lift up your right leg, all of your weight's on your left, it lands, and that foot goes up. So slightly faster, you skate, you jump. So the next part of the tutorial, we're going to be looking at the advanced T-stop. It's similar to the first one in the sense that your feet will be in the shape of a T, but with the advanced T-stop, if I show you from the side, one of your feet will be on the, on the ice stopping you from moving, while the other foot will be in the air. The main difference with this one, besides the fact that you'll have one foot in the air, is the position of the blade that's actually stopping you. With the original T-stop, the foot that's behind, you use the inside edge of the foot that's behind. But with the advanced T-stop, you actually use the outside edge. So, in my case, my right leg will be in this kind of position, while my left leg will be in the air like that. So taking a look at the advanced T-stop from the side view, as we said, your left leg in this case goes forward, all of your weight goes then onto your left leg, lift your right leg up, it lands on the outside edge of the right leg, and your left foot goes up as soon as your right leg touches the ice. So it's almost a kicking motion. That's the way I've always tried to remember it. So you go forward, kick. Just looking at the advanced T-stop again from the side, as we said, your left leg goes forward, your right leg goes in the air and lands back on the right leg's outside edge, and your left leg goes up in the air as soon as your right leg touches the ground. So taking another look at the advanced T-stop, the position of your legs if you're going to be going in this direction forward, the way I always do it is let my left leg, which is going to be the foot that ends up in the air while I'm stopping, I let that go forward first, um, that I then put all my weight onto the left leg as I lift my right leg up, and as my right leg comes down on the outside edge as we said earlier, my left leg comes up immediately after, so it goes down, left leg goes straight up in the air. So doing that a bit quicker, you go forward, all your weight's on that leg, and then you kind of kick back and land on your right leg's outside edge and your left leg goes straight up in the air.